Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Welcome oh. back. Welcome back. Welcome back to uh, Off the Record, day five. Uh, I hope all of you have uh, completed your work, finished your dinner, and all excited for uh, an exciting day of uh, Off the Record. Uh, so, before we get started, uh, for all of you who are new uh, to our program, uh, let me do a quick introduction. Uh, my name is Brandon. This is my wonderful wife, Danya. We've been married for three and a half years. And uh, to tell you a little bit about uh, the Off the Record program that we are having, it is a talk show. Uh, conducted by the Missionary Families of Christ uh, Bangalore on the MFC Bangalore Facebook page. It is uh, uh, an honest conversation uh, between uh, married couples uh, sharing about their lives uh, and how God has been faithful to them and how they've experienced uh, God's love. Uh, it promises to be a truly uh, wonderful experience for all of you watching us live for the first time. And uh, sit back, relax, enjoy. Uh, before we move forward, you know, brothers and sisters, if you have any of your friends um, who you think should uh, would would gain would stand to gain from this, and I'm sure all of them would, uh, don't forget to share this live link right now with all of them on your Facebook friends list, on your WhatsApp. Uh, if any of your colleagues are working, I'm going to say that again. It's 9 p.m. If anybody is working, send them this link so that they can tune off from work and tune into uh, a wonderful time of uh, testimony and uh, glorifying the Lord. So, um, Danya, do you want to give us a quick recap of uh, uh, what we've had so far? Yeah, yeah, sure. So, we are on day five. That means we've had uh, four couples on the show so far. First day, we had uh, Aldo and Raina. We inaugurated uh, the show with them both. Uh, they got the, the name, uh, the tag, Renaldo through the show. Uh, the both of them shared about their financial struggles and how that led to unforgiveness between the two of them and how the Lord helped them to uh, reconcile with each other uh, once he entered into their life and, um, you know, showed them the truth. Day two, we had uh, Brother Raju and Sister Santoshi who shared about their marriage struggles uh, and how they had, um, uh, you know, their marriage was built on sand is how they expressed it. Uh, it led to a year of separation, but then they testified how the Lord intervened in their life and they successfully completed 14 years of marriage with two beautiful girls. And uh, day three, we had Nelson and Tina. Nelson and Tina are such a cute couple. They shared, um, Nelson shared about his brokenness with his uh, father. The relationship was broken since his childhood. And that carried on into his adulthood and uh, uh, how it even entered into his marriage about how uh, and how he was uh, responding to his wife in such a manner uh, because of this brokenness. But when he realized the Lord's love, the Father's love, when he read a fa the love letter from uh, God, the Father, he expressed, he, he realized the value of, his fa of the Father's love and realized that uh, it's time that he forgives his father and that renewed the relationship of his marriage with his wife, Tina. And day four, uh, we had, that is yesterday, we had Donald and Cheryl on our show and they expressed about how their marriage has been so, so fruitful, so meaningful through the Lord. Uh, they shared their testimony about how the Lord helped them overcome the sorrows of uh, miscarriage that they went through and also how they experienced a near fatal accident uh, and the Lord rescued them miraculously. Uh, do, do go to our MFC Bangalore uh, Facebook page. Uh, also on YouTube to see the recordings of these uh, talk shows, they are must-see testimonies. Yes, brothers and sisters, you don't want to miss out on these wonderful testimonies. And uh, um, you know what? All of you have I've seen a couple of you have already joined, committing in the chat. Good evening, hello, hello, hello. Hello. Uh, good to see you all joining us. Uh, and uh, please keep the chat going. Let us know your thoughts uh, uh, and keep, keep the chat going in case we face certain issues. Uh, we may find out through your comments itself. Uh, so, who do we have today? Today, today we have, uh, uh, I'm sure most of you have seen the poster. For those of you who have not seen the poster, it is the comeback, <laughs> brothers and sisters. <laughs> it is the comeback of uh, Vinod and Rima. We were supposed to have them. Uh, I think it was on uh, Wednesday we were supposed to have Vinod and Rima, but unfortunately technical issues uh, couldn't allow us to have their uh, to listen to their testimony so for all of you who are eager to listen to their testimony the comeback is on brothers and sisters we know that Rima are here with us today to share their life 
uh, for all of you who are new, who don't know who Vinod and Rima is, I'll give you a short introduction. Uh, they are a very beautiful, a loving, and a very funny couple. They are uh, have a great sense of humor. Uh, Vinod, a man, he is uh, someone who uh, loves food. He's a foodie, and uh, the beautiful wife Rima uh, loves cooking. So it's a match made in heaven, and uh, opposites do attract. That's right, and they have two beautiful children, two sons, uh, Joshua, who is also a lovely singer like his father, and Jonathan, who we all call to say is our, uh, who stolen our hearts. He's our heartthrob. <laughs> so, without any further delay, let's see if we can invite them. All right, welcome back, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. We know. Meanwhile, while we add them, please do share this link with those of them who you see online on Facebook. Share the link on chat. Compel them to join. Uh, join this live. Right. Right. We just connecting with them. Hey guys. Hello. 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 Hey. Looking great, yeah. Hi Brandon. Hello. Good evening. How are you all doing? Mm -hmm. All good. By the grace of God. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Praise God. Praise God. So, Vinod uh, and Rima, we gave a small introduction about yourselves, but uh, you know, why don't you guys go ahead and. Uh, uh, introduce yourselves to everyone who's new over here. Uh, sure, sure, Brandon and uh, and Danya, thank you for the welcome. Uh, so, just I'd li like to first begin with introducing Rima. So, so Rima, is, uh, Rima and me are both married since the last 10 years now. Uh, Rima is, uh, uh, is a development, uh, sorry, she's into development and uh, uh, she loves coding and she's also a wonderful, uh, uh, that is, uh, she's a wonderful housewife uh, and taking care of our, our kids, uh, Joshua and Jonathan. Uh, so I work in the IT industry and uh, uh, we've been married for the last 10 years, just to begin with this is an introduction. Awesome. Uh, all right, awesome, awesome. You know what, that, that wouldn't be wrong to say, uh, we are all in development, uh, Vinod. Uh, God is constantly <laughs> developing us and shaping us uh, into his likeness. So uh, I don't think anything was wrong with that. Uh, but you know what, uh, without further ado, jokes apart, uh, Vinod and Rima, why don't you guys uh, get us started? What is this story that you want to share with us? Yeah, sure, sure, Brandon. Uh, I would like to begin uh, at the beginning now. Uh, my life uh, before knowing Christ was just like any other normal person. Uh, I was a Sunday mass goer and I would just tick mark that uh, tick and uh, say, yes, I've done that task for the whole week. And uh, I would uh, sit for the rosary uh, with my family when I was in Mangalore. And uh, I never shared a relationship with God, but it was more of a mundane task that I would do. And uh, yeah, that's all of it. And uh, once when I moved to Bangalore, uh, it was like a free bird and uh, there was no restrictions or anything. So now it was like a life living on my terms. Yeah. Okay. okay. And, and Vinod, how about you? What was, what's your story? For me, uh, I did have a, I did have a relationship with God. I uh, I used to pray. I used to go to the church, and I and I loved to spend time uh, interceding uh, when I was in in the uh, in the charismatic community. And uh, uh, but somehow, what I, I did find is that uh, because of work, uh, you know, uh, in in the initial years and even uh, leading up to getting married, uh, it was always work. And soon I found that uh, you know uh, I, it was work which was my priority. And uh, rather than you know God, uh, and uh, when I had the God in within my li life, right? So interesting. Okay, so here is uh, Rima who uh, lived her independence, her freedom, and therefore gave herself that utmost importance, and thereby the first priority in her life. And here is uh, Vinod on the other side. Though he was at one time a part of the community of uh, the charismatic group, uh, eventually work became his idol. If work became his first priority. Uh, so we know that Rima, how did this all uh, impact you guys and uh, your family at large? Yeah, uh, so I enjoyed being in that bubble, uh, the bubble which looked very good from the outside, but it was quite suffocating from within. Uh, there, there was times like uh, the baggage became too heavy for me and uh, I drifted uh, very, very far away from God. And uh, this totally led to a uh, total emptiness in my life, uh, which I was uh, putting uh, maybe a work 
or uh, binge watching and all those things and uh, i never uh, set a right path there and that kept me on and um, I never felt that uh, uh, like there was no one to tell me that uh, there is a way uh, to get back to God. There is a way, there, there is a hope uh, or probably a confession that would renew my relationship with God. There was no one to tell me at that moment of time. Mm. Mm. And, and what about you, Vinod? What's your story? Oh, well, uh, well so, so, so living lives uh, this way, you know, with, with work and uh, as that continued, I, I slowly saw that, you know, the impact of, uh, of work, you know, uh, which became my main priority or an important priority, not God, uh, that, have, you know, that, that uh, changed our lives and it, it made, you know, my, uh, my relationship with, with Rima a little bit bitter and uh, for, for certain petty things, I would stay angry a lot, it at times would be quiet for, or silent for several days. And uh, and through all of this, uh, I saw that this anger building inside of me. So this is how, how things change for me and for, for both of us as a family. Mm. Mm. I, think, I, think that's, 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 I think that's very pertinent. And I think that's something that's very relatable to all of us. Because, you know, um, when you live in darkness for so long, you know, with uh, misplaced priorities, you we constantly fail to realize, I think as Rima was saying, right, like a confession is what could renew her, what could bring her back. But we fail to realize sometimes, you know, in the absence of light and living in darkness for so long, we forget that, you know, light is what can, uh, you know, r uh, bring us that peace, that joy, that that thing that we're longing for, right? Jesus is the one who can bring. So, uh, you know what, uh, all the stories that we've heard so far, all of them end uh, in a good note. So, uh, please go ahead and tell us, you know, what changed for you guys? Like, how did the light come into your life? Yeah, sure. Uh, so we got married in uh, 2011 and that's when Vin, uh, Vinod introduced me uh, to the community and uh, when he introduced to, uh, me to the community I just uh, felt like uh, okay let me join uh, let me give a shot uh, I had more of interest to know people than to know God at that moment of time and uh, uh, slowly within me I had this uh, intention also like okay, uh, has our family grows when we have more responsibilities with the children and all that, we can slowly detach from the community. So that's what I had in mind. And uh, in 2012 is the time when we uh, went through the CLS program. And uh, when uh, the CLS program started, uh, the first very talk, uh, I felt this cold chills in my body and uh, I experienced him, uh, my God, just waiting for me with open arms and just waiting, uh, just like a lover. And, uh, and I was able to feel him so tangibly in, and uh, sense him so beautifully, you know. And uh, that opened up everything at that point of time and uh, the other talk was on forgiveness which actually gave a huge impact on my life on what my past was and uh, during that time uh, I was able to uh, go for a beautiful confession I cast out my burdens I experienced his love during that time and uh, yeah I was never a person uh, to go back to my old ways and uh, there my journey beautiful spiritual journey started praise god praise god i think i think the the, the love of god is so overpowering it can it can really i remember my cls also i was becoming emotional you know i mean rima was talking about chills i was just remembering my um cls the first time i did a cls you know i was very emotional and tears were rolling down i don't even know why uh, but I, like you said, you know, I think that is the power and the overwhelming love of God that sometimes we fail to uh, notice and understand. Uh, but uh, enough about me, you know, the, how was your CLS uh, experience? Uh, yeah, yeah, Brandon. So, so for me, during the CLS, uh, what what really struck me was 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 the teaching on God's love, uh, where I learned, you know, how about uh, you know, like amidst everything that we do on this earth and everything that we do, right? So, so we we, we come without nothing and. Uh, we we go back you know uh, go back into god god the father's hands without anything right so so god's love was uh, was was something that that struck me a lot and uh, through this i just realized that in case we look at first prioritizing you know everything in our lives and always keeping god first in our lives if we look at that and using 
uh, his discernment, you know, uh, th that, that can really make a big impact on our lives. And uh, through this entire, you know, exercise which we try to do, and uh, like, uh, for an example, like if there's something also which we want to buy, we, we try to look at discerning if this is something that, that we really need or if it's necessary, and also try to look at, you know, uh, offering it up to God and uh, making that, dis uh, that, that, uh, that decision based on the discernment. And and through this, uh, what we what we saw that uh, we were able to discern uh, with the help of the discernment, uh, we were able to make plans and uh, by you know prioritizing God first in our lives and keeping Him in, in our relationship. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Uh, a lot of our couples have been sharing about the Father's love. Indeed, the Father's love can change the hardest of hearts, uh, the most lukewarm hearts as as well. Uh, so we know that Rima help us understand how is life today after you've gone through this whole experience and 10 years of marriage, uh, how is it today? Yeah, uh, so there are times where uh, now I make it a point to go for a confession quite often and uh, visiting the Blessed Sacrament. Uh, it is, I came to know uh, how God is just available all the time for us in that a blessed sacrament and uh, when I go there I spend hours together staring at his gazing at his beauty and uh, I I feel him more more powerfully uh, every time that I visit him his presence um, in my life uh, gives me the grace to carry forward everything and uh, and the teachings of the CLS also uh, had a very huge impact on our lives. We actually, uh, it helps us uh, realize that uh, how much we were drifted apart and uh, how much it was impacting our relationship as a couple. And we, uh, we came to know how to forgive one another, be kind, be patient, and most of all, sacrificing and dying to oneself and being available for the other person. I think uh, all these things were taught to us during the CLS and they actually renewed our relationship. Mm -hmm. and, and Vinod, what about you? So, so for me, uh, looking at uh, being a part of the community and also being a part of the CLS, uh, this has really helped me understand and at times, you know, uh, look at uh, that is uh, making, you know, uh, certain decisions and, uh, and there's something where I would, you know, probably just look at doing certain things just uh, at, at the drop of a hat or impulsively in the past where I've learned to be patient, I've learned to, you know, uh, at times uh, uh, when I when I w was not forgiving earlier, I've learned to look at forgiving. So that's, that's something that comes from, from the teaching on, on forgiveness. And at times I know it's, it's been something which I'm learning and trying to look at working on, but uh, what I would say is it's, it's God's love, you know, in me that is, that is giving me the grace to make those uh, changes in our lives. And uh, through all of this, as we as we've stayed focused on, uh, you know, having God in our life as a center, um, we, uh, we, we, we try to look at making uh, this uh, a common practice within the family to look at, uh, uh, you know, giving, giving glory to God in, in what we do. It, it could be also for our children or in case, you know, just to relate to this in the form of a simple example. If there's something that they win or they lose, just trying to look at uh, teaching them to look at always glorifying God in, in, in case they've lost it or if they won something. Because uh, the uh, at the end of it, that that's the most important thing, right? Praise God. Praise God. Thank you so much, uh, Vinod and Rima, for that really powerful testimony. Uh, you know, brothers and sisters, for all of you watching, uh, as they were as they were sharing, you know, I was just thinking, uh, since our childhood, right, we are just called to focus like on something apart from God, you know, from childhood, focus on your studies, your studies are the first priority, and when you get, get a job, then your job is the first priority, you know, like uh, everything else is the first priority in our lives apart from God, but here is a family that is, uh, you know, going against the flow of the world, you know, they are in the world, but not of the world simply because they found the love of God and they today choose to love God above everything else. So thank you so much, uh, Vinod and Rima. And brothers and sisters, if you all are, you know, just as interested and you're, um, you know, eager to understand, you know, how is it that they've come to experience Christ? How is it that they've come to love the Lord? Um, you didn't wait any longer. Uh, we have a CLS, a Christian Life Seminar, just like Rima was talking, Rima and uh, Vinod are talking. We have a Christian Life Seminar starting on 22nd August uh, 2021. 
Uh, the name of the CLS is called uh, God My Rock. It is a seminar spanning six weeks. Uh, the registration details, uh, the registration link and contact details will be found in the chat. Details of the seminar can also be found on our uh, MFC Bangalore Facebook page. You do not want to miss this opportunity, brothers and sisters. It's an opportunity to be renewed in Christ. That's right. The CLS is also called God My Rock. So do look out for the poster on the MFC Bangalore page. Uh, with that, Vinod and Rima, uh, help us understand or uh, tell us, uh, tell the audience on the, uh, you know, who, who are probably keen on attending this, which is, by the way, day after tomorrow, it's just two days away. Uh, what should they be expecting uh, if they were to attend or if they were to uh, tell about this program to, the, uh, to their family and friends? Yeah. Uh, so if you feel that uh, you have drifted far, far away and there's no way to turn back to God, then this is your opportunity. I regret that I came to know about the CLS so late in my journey of life. Uh, I would say it's the best opportunity where you can start your spiritual life there and start growing it. Okay. Thank you. Praise so God. Much. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you so Praise much, Mona and Rima. Brothers and sisters, with that, we come to the end of day five. Uh, we would like to leave you with a quote by Blessed Francis Xavier Silos. He says, Every day holds a possibility for a miracle. And you never know, God is knocking at the door and it's just a registration away. So with that, Brandon and Danya signing out. See you tomorrow for our last uh, show of Off the Record. See you tomorrow, same time and same place. Thank Bye. you so much. God bless. Thank you, Vinod and Rima. God Thank bless you, you all. Thank you. Don't Bye. forget to share this video uh, with all your friends as well who couldn't join us. Thank you and good night. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you.